What's up guys welcome to gem visuals today i've got a video for you it's part of my new drawing series that i'm gonna have i'm gonna have quite a few but this one is gonna be called fusion aha so in this series i'm just gonna be doing a drawing of two different characters could be from the same or from different animes um where i will draw each character like i'm not gonna draw each I'm going to draw a fused version of each character. Um, this inspiration just came from a user that I saw on Instagram actually. He done a picture of Luffy and Midoriya I think it was from Hero Academy in One Piece. And I saw that and I was like yep, mm -mm, I need to do something like this. So this piece here is inspired by my brother. So he said um, that he liked Killua. Um, so we started watching Hunter x Hunter again. Um, and he liked Killua and he thought that it was quite similar to Kakashi. So I said, you know what? Let me do Killua and Kakashi. I don't know what I'll call him. Killuashi, Kilu, I don't know. If you've got a name, leave it in the comment section. But I said, you know what? Let me do Killua and Kakashi. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I post again. Alright, so here I'm just going through with the sketch. I, I sketched out the body and the outline and then I went and got another layer, turned the layer behind down to turn the opacity down and the layer above had the um, opacity on 100. Then I start to draw out parts of the clothes and the props like a skateboard in the background. And yeah, I just started with that. But I wasn't sure how I wanted the clothes to look. So if you see me changing the clothes, changing the hair, everything like that, that's all happened because I wasn't sure. But I started with Kakashi's cross on his chest um i done kid kakashi for this one just because they're like roughly the same height at least well he's not really a kid in this series actually he's more of a teen but you know what i mean i started with the sketch i started adding the clothing on top um then i got the hair i wasn't really happy with the hair to be honest but um as you'll see later on i kind of changed it and just fix it up because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with Killua's kind of hair or Kakashi's kind of hair then I tried to do a blend of both of them but they're kind of similar but it just looked messy um, so I just changed that but here I said I definitely have to have a mask a face mask because um, that's kind of like Kakashi's signature look I didn't know what kind of eyes to do like literally I didn't have a plan I didn't have um, a mock-up or anything like that prior to this I just went straight in and everything that you see happening is everything that I was doing I was just working and planning and changing fixing erasing drawing everything all at the same time so everything that you see in my head was going out on paper um, so yeah I was ooh, like I was kind of happy with the hair here so I think I left it here but I, I was gonna draw the fist completely and in detail but I was like you know what let me get some lightning so because both of them use lightning in it so um, I said I have to put some lightning in here so it's around this area that I started to just go over the sketching with the thicker bro thicker brush. Just make sure that I got everything right. I didn't really I wanted to like do the sandals like a ninja, but then still have Killua's little um, button shoes, whatever you want to call them. His little purple button shoes. Playing around with how I want the lightning to look and everything, but yeah, just trying, 
trial and error, trial and error. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to do big eyes, like kiddie eyes, like, um, what did you call them? Chibi? No, chibi's the little small people. But anyway, you know what I mean, those big eyes, like Kilo's eyes. I was going to do something like that, but, so let's do a bit more, like, Akashi. And also, like, Kilo, when he's in his, his, um, what do you call it? His assassin mode, like that. He's dope. I love that. All right, so I add a layer on top, um, and the layer underneath I turn down the opacity, and then on the layer on top I just go through with the G pen, and then I just ink over the sketch layer that I already drew underneath, and I just make sure to take my time and just draw it. I normally have the stabilization at a hundred, depending on what I'm drawing. Um, it's usually at a hundred pretty much all of the time. It just makes sure it just ensures that my lines are nice and straight So when I'm done with the line art, I use the selection tool and I select everywhere in the background and reverse the selection tool so that I just get everything inside the drawing and I create a new layer on top called the tone layer and I normally use like a more blue tone you want to give the character. So I fill that out and I turn the opacity down to about 30%. Um, so after that, I then add another layer which is a duplicate of the tone layer and I erase everything inside that layer and then I call the duplicate layer the shadows so I basically just go through the whole drawing and um, putting in shadows where I feel that shadow should be um, and after that I end up getting the flats for each color um, I choose a color and I put down the flat colors um, it depends how I feel sometimes I do it all in one layer but the majority of the time I do each flat for each um, different part of the body again that's what I normally do but for some reason in this video I didn't do it today <laughs> but yeah I went on with the eyes and I was saying you know what let me give him a sharon gun because that's what kakashi has got you get me but I wanted to make it purple like Kilowatt but listen I was just playing about didn't know what I was doing playing about and it, it looked all right it looked all right I guess um so here you can see I put skin for his legs but then I said you know what let me give him some ninja whatever you want to call it I don't know what they're called you know those wraps that they have on their legs in the river I don't know what they are bandages whatever but they're not bandages because they're not hurt but you know what I mean man those wraps that they have so here I started um, adding in some more shading and then I started changing the colour of the shorts because I didn't really like what it was before. I was just making sure that I filled out every colour um, from the background and yeah I my iPad died, <laughs> it was on 8% and it died and I forgot to carry on recording. But this is afterwards I just drew the lightning. Um, added another layer and added the turn the blending mode to add glow um, and then I went and used the spray paint brush I don't know what you want to call that but this is the paint and spray paint brush and I had the same effect add glow and I done it across the lines of the lightning and that's how I kind of get that glowy lightning effect Anyways guys, hope hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. I've got a lot more content coming up. 
um and if you have any ideas for any videos just leave a comment in the comment section or dm me on instagram at j.m.visuals and i'll make sure to get those videos out for you so please again like subscribe show your friends show your family and if you're into art anime and all of that good stuff just make sure to follow this if you're into photography make sure to subscribe to this and also subscribe to my family youtube channel seven millers all the links you'll need are in the description below